do it yourself electroluminescent screens. Necessary equipment. Step 1. Design simple shape according to size of glass substrate. Step 2. Apply thin layer of phosphor. Step 3 and 4. Apply two layers of dielectric insulator. Don't forget to dry your substrate in between each step. Step 5. Apply silver electrode. Avoid holes in dielectric layer to prevent short circuits and resulting frustration. Step 6. Attach wires to silver layer and glass substrate. Fix with copper tape. Step 7. Power. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to make electroluminescent screens, or ELs. The electroluminescent screen is made up of four separate layers. An indium tin oxide coated plastic, which is conductive on one side and transparent, a phosphor ink, a dielectric ink, and a silver ink. All the three ink layers are printed through a screen printing process. So these are the materials we'll be using for the printing. We have our inks, our ITO coated plastic, our screen printing materials, our heating and drying materials, and the electronics. For the first step, we'll be preparing the screen and screen printing materials. We'll be starting by making our designs for the print. On the left, you'll see the phosphor design. This is the basic part that will be illuminated on the screen. Then comes the dielectric layers. We'll need to apply two coats of the dielectric to ensure that there's no chance of a short circuit occurring. The final is the silver electrode. The inner circle on the silver electrode must be slightly smaller than the dielectric. The outer circle, called a bus bar, is required to get an even application of electricity across the surface. Once we have our designs, we can begin cutting them from the film. This is a water-soluble film that adheres to the screen. You can use a cutting machine like here, or you can also cut these by hand. Once we've cut out our design, we can apply it to the screen. Place some masking tape to ensure that it stays in place. Use a sponge to apply water across the screen. You'll be able to see where it's adhered correctly. Once the film is adhered and dried, you can remove the contact sheet. Mask off any blank areas on the screen with some masking tape. We begin with the phosphor ink. Ensure that all the inks are mixed thoroughly before printing. We'll need to check the ITO to make sure that we're printing on the right side. Apply a small amount of the phosphor to the screen and use a squeegee to gently pull across the screen. If you miss any areas, go over again, but aim for a nice even stroke across. We'll need to heat the inks to 130 degrees for 10 minutes to cure them. We can use an oven to do this, or a heat gun. Use a thermometer to check that you're reaching 130 degrees, and being careful not to go too far over. We now repeat the process of the dielectric ink. Our first screen will be clogged from the dielectric ink, so we'll need to use the second one. Lastly comes the silver layer.
Use conductive adhesive tape to connect your wires. Be careful not to scratch the silver paint with the wire. You can avoid this by first putting the tape down, sticking the wire on, and then a second layer of tape to protect the silver ink, and then connect the other wire to the ITO plastic. Lastly, connect both wires to our EL power supply.